the urban stealth camper van man. You know it makes sense. A conspiracy free zone. Hello, I thought I'd uh, explain some of my pictures because I've had a few comments and, uh, well, two. Um, what do my pictures mean? Um, and actually mean something to me. I mean, not just uh, as an enjoyment um, aspect of the picture, but obviously that's the case. But I do, there are, they are, these things are um, um, put in for a reason. Um, like, I wanted this picture here, right, for, for argument's sake. I wanted this picture to be um, uh, urban, if that makes sense. I wanted it, that to look like a sort of decay on a wall or, you know, a bit of graffiti. And I wanted, it, you know, to I put these slashes and cuts in it. Well, they're not cuts. I mean, there's grooves in the canvas. Um, yeah, if, if you can understand what I mean, like uh, sort of down here. I wanted it like the... the the stressed look on it but uh and i took an iconic symbol and that was uh keep britain tidy and uh sort of done my interpretation of it and with his head falling into um a waste uh a, a, a bin you know it just sort of emphasizes the waste of you know of what we've had to live with for the last oops for the last uh nearly two years the or year and a half so that's what I wanted it to say. It's just not me just uh, going a bit crazy with um, um, a canvas. I mean, it is, well, to me it is anyway. I mean, it might look it, like it's crazy, but it does have some sort of meaning. Um, yeah, so that's one. I'll give you another example as well. Probably, uh, uh, probably a better example. Well, I don't think the light's going to pick up this one. This is the one I finished yesterday. Um, I'll try and zoom in a bit. That's right. Let's go out for a minute. Right. Um, what I was trying for here. Um, firstly, I, let's see the background. I wanted the background to, to look like um, like granite or marble. You know, like a stone effect. You, you like you'd find on maybe a very old headstone. That sort of look. But uh, yeah, and it's got. I mean, if I can catch it at the right light, it's got so much texture in it. Um, yeah, but anyway, right, enough of the jibber jabber. Right, um, and you look at that picture and it's quite a. Maybe that's a better side. Um, it, it's crazy. I mean, you look at it and you think, bloody hell, what was he thinking? But my logic, I mean, I like pictures what are very cryptic and uh, so, I don't know what the word is, you'd call, uh, surreal, maybe. Um, so in my head, my bear with me, Jesus, um, the ghost would be to symbolise, uh, well, to, the ghost would be to symbolise um, unfinished business, right? Now here, bear with me. The apple would be the sin, and the balloon, which is tethered, would be emotionally. Uh, emotional pain um, yeah and he you know why the unfinished business because he's still not let go of it so it probably doesn't make any sense to anybody else but it makes perfect sense to me um, yeah I mean it, the lighting's poor I'm running, I'm running out of space on the wall so I had to sort of pull it in the corner of the room a lot on a nail so uh, just to pull it, pull it up but Oh, I love that picture, but, you know, there you go. Well, I'll give you one quick example, like a cheeky little one I've done. Um, well, hold on a this one is, if you can see by my hand, sorry, my fingers are covered in paint again. It's only tiny. I mean, um, I've got these really cheap, these tiny little canvases. And, I mean, they're just to practice a few little backgrounds, really. But, um, yeah, I'll just add a bit of a doodle on it. Um, so, I think that's probably close enough. And it's meant to be, and uh, the picture is called, this tiny little picture is called Cheer Up, I Love You. Um, and this is meant to be a Rolo. I mean, it could be painted a little bit better, but I was only sort of mucking about with it. And this is uh, Prozac. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I know what I'm trying to say, but uh, Cheer Up, I Love You. But, uh, 
yes. So I hope that sort of clears up some of my pictures. I mean, I try to be, um, I don't know what the word is, unique, I suppose, or different. Yeah, different, probably. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope that sort of cleared it up a little bit. I mean, there is method behind my madness. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. And uh, by the way, I don't think I told you the title or the name of this picture. Um, this picture is called The Magnificent Sin. Um, and I quite like the name of that. Um, I just wished it would uh, pick up a little bit better. The colours are a bit muted um, on this uh, camera. But yeah, that's The Magnificent Sin.